The cabinet I built to store the fridge is big, but it's not big enough to get into the fridge while it's stored in there. So we have to come up with a way to pull the fridge out, but also have it secured in the van while in motion. The easy solution is to put wheels on it, but I don't want to drill into the plastic and ruin the fridge, so my thought is to build a wood frame for it. Whoops, it's not quite long enough. So what I'll do is I'll cut a little bit of scrap from the leftover wood and then that'll make it long enough. The wood frame only needs to roll one way, so the cheaper one direction wheels are actually even better for this application than the more expensive multi-direction wheels. So I got the fridge kind of set up, got the uh, wheels on the bottom, so what I can do is just pull it out. I might put a handle or something on this side, just so it's easier to pull out, but it slides right out. It won't really go back and forth because the wheels only go this way, but I could just pull it out, get to the fridge, get everything in it, and go like that, push that back in. It's got enough room uh, up top if you wanna put something up there, like a bread thing or something, and it's got enough space for the cords in the back. In fact, you can even, uh, what's cool is you can take the lid off like that, but that's still kind of inconvenient. So what I need to do now is, uh, of course, put this back on somehow. Yeah, perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to drive around with this to see how much kind of securing I'm going to need to do to make sure that this doesn't go sideways towards the camera when uh, when I'm driving, if it like slides out like that. You can see it uh, has a bit of friction on the carpet down here, which is good. So it's not going to slide like if it was on the plastic, but there is a bit of a lip right there which I don't quite like. I might try and find something different to uh, cover that up with. Maybe put a piece of hardwood there or something because the door has to go over it. So I don't know. It does properly go over the lip when I screw the, screwed the carpet down. So it's all pretty good. It is super hot out in Florida today. You know what I've noticed? I'm looking at the screen instead of where I should be looking at the camera. Fix. That's why I'm doing the Casey Neistat, Neistat, yeah. you know, with sunglasses. That, and I think I look, I think they look pretty cool and make me look cool. So what I'm gonna do now is pull out, and we're gonna test the cabinets to see how bad they swing out. I think you can even see up. Oh, look at that. There they go. Yep, cabinets are swinging out so definitely need to get some type of attachment for them and what you can't see is behind the driver's seat is the little armoire with the fridge in it and you can't move back and forth and it's on carpet so it's friction but it does have wheels to move side to side so i can get at it so i'm going to do a little bit of driving drive around the block crank the air on it's very nice this has great ac that's one of like was one of the huge selling points that and cruise control i was like shoot it's gonna be awesome like because I mean you don't want to drive cross country with no cruise control that just becomes awful like it really does it cramps up your foot and it's not good for circulation so you pop on cruise control and you can do like little exercises with your feet while you're driving which is a good thing so I mean I don't hear I'm not doing anything crazy but I don't hear anything other than the shelves moving around and I know they're gonna do that so yeah there's the shelves but the uh, fridge is not moving and it doesn't have anything in it now and it's not pulled with the cord. I mean, I think I'd have to flip this car really to move it that much, you know? I would have to move to a degree that I'm not comfortable with driving it, you know, let alone daily use and like park it someplace. So let's see, let's do a turn. I guess that's the wrong way if I wanted to turn, I'll do a, well, I can't do the stop sign, but you get the idea. I think it's gonna stay. I think it is. I think I, I think I did well with uh Well, nope, that was it. <laughs> right after I say it. Good. So now I know I got to I got to have uh, either a bunch of cord or some type of lock or something that'll keep that stuck. 
Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Looks like I broke off one of the wheels. I didn't have all four screws on it, so I'm gonna definitely have to put four, and I just had two on each. Uh, H deal. Uh, this didn't come off. It did break one wheel, so I'm definitely gonna have to fix that. Six and a half hours later. What we have here is a wood bar with big L brackets on the bottom. The L brackets will be screwed into the floor, and the fridge wood frame will be pushed back right into the bar here. Then, Velcro on both the fridge and the wood bar will have it sealed. Look how little Velcro it takes. This is crazy. So then we'll push it back. And it's locked in. Probably needs, it would be really safe if it was probably double because the side ones are only attached half on the surface area. So I was off by about half an inch maybe. So really it only attaches for the top part. So what I have is half of the surface area. So just a couple more, we'll be good to go. What do I mean by the half the surface area? You can see it's kind of above. So I still have a bit of space. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm just gonna need to put on a bit more Velcro. Or really I could put another brick here or add another thing to this, but I think Velcro will fix it. It's a Velcro bar uh, with wood, and then you just roll the fridge back, and it locks in. Underneath the bed is the power plug. I wired a female 12 volt adapter to the fuse box. I've seen some people cut open the fridge's official 12 volt adapter and wire that directly into a fuse box, but then you ruin the plug, so I definitely didn't want to do that. I've got another video coming up soon that should give a good example of why that's a bad idea.